What's going on, Strong Squad? DeMarco here with Strength with Purpose. I want to talk to you about an interesting concept that I read about in um, Sun Tzu's The Art of War. So I read the book a few years ago. I've actually reread it a couple times since then, and it is just such an amazing book on philosophy. And it's called The Art of War, but a lot of actual business owners and um, executives and companies have actually read it and applied it to business strategy and tactics. I think it's a tremendous book focusing on self-improvement and awareness of oneself. Obviously, there's a bunch of stuff about tactics and warfare in there as well, but um, it's a really interesting book that I think pretty much everybody would get some kind of value from. But one of the things that Sun Tzu talks about is the concept of chaos and opportunity. So in the midst of, of you know, he talks about battles, like there's certain battles going on. And when, when you're in a battle, there are ways that you can gain an advantage over your opponent, right? So... Obviously, I'm not in the military, and hopefully I'm never going to be in a con armed conflict. That's definitely not, not my goal in life, but, um, and you probably won't either. But um, when it comes to chaos, you know, that can take many forms. So for us, 2020, the pandemic, you know, we had a shutdown. We had two, you know, we're on our second shutdown right now. Economic downturn, business is not doing well, and people had to pivot that big buzzword that we used in 2020. Um, that being said those that were ready took advantage of the opportunity in place. Companies like Zoom, the Peloton bikes, you know, Netflix, you know, the, the streaming services obviously did really well because they took advantage of us having extra time <laughs> at home because a lot of people were laid off with extra time. You know, certain, uh, certain restaurants actually were doing better because of the takeout, um, the takeout aspect, obviously. So not all of them, unfortunately, but um, you had, you saw some industries that were doing really poorly during the pandemic and continue to do so, but then you saw others that continue to do really well. For myself in particular, in particular, it was actually a push to, for me to actually get out of my comfort zone and focus on building an online fitness business, which is what me and my colleagues have been focusing on uh, the last six years. So that big push and that big stress and that, that crisis gave us the opportunity to rethink our current trajectory and our current set of actions and then to readjust and take the steps, the uh, proper steps in order to um, be ready the next time this happens, if it does. You know, the big focus for us is on creating a pandemic-proof business. So that wouldn't have ever happened had this coronavirus never become a thing. We probably would have never thought about this. So I'm not saying I'm happy the pandemic happened, obviously. I don't, I'm not going to make light of that, make light of suffering and death, but with the chaos that came about, a tremendous opportunity arose for all of us. And it's a matter of, are we willing to look and see what it is?